Hey guys, Frank Cox here, Smoker Builder. Hey, I'm uh, firing up my 500 gallon. This is not the first fire I've built in this cooker. It's actually the second. The first time I built the fire in it, I was just kind of getting the heat on it so this uh, linseed oil coating would just kind of bake in and get some color to it. Um, this time I'm actually building the fire in it so I can get, do the pre-seasoning and the season. So what I've done is I've built myself a fire over here and in that uh, fire box, I've got it pretty rip-roaring fire. We're trying to run around 275 to 300 degrees. And the goal is, is that I've got to get all of this iron up to temp. So as I go, we're running uh, straight up 275 on both thermometers right now. As I go, I'll kind of feel across here. And what I'm looking for is evenness of temp. And it's pretty hot. Like if I touch right there, I can hold for a second, but I don't want to keep it on there. Then I'm going to feel down here at the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just kind of waiting to get that iron hot enough so that whenever it's all equalized in temp, I can take a water hose in there, I'm gonna spray, you'll see here in a second, this is gonna kinda steam clean and get everything released from the pores in the metal. But anyway, stay tuned here and uh, I'll get into that part here in a minute. We're just gonna let this thing kinda keep coming up to temp and equalize out. All right guys, this thing's doing pretty doggone good. I'm getting pretty warm at the bottom here now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down a little bit. And basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this door up to prop. That's what this thing is right here, it's a door prop. Lift this door up to prop and then I'm just gonna spray in there real quick, throw the hose down, get that door closed. Um, smaller cookers, you may not have to do that. If you got counterweights or whatever, you might be a little bit easier to do it. Anyway, here we go. Now, all that water that I just sprayed in there is just kind of rinsing down the walls. And uh, as this cooker continues to heat back up, it's going to start steaming in there. We're going to get all of that junk out of there from building it and stuff. Uh, make sure you got a good drain hole, uh, drain hole on yours. This has got a two inch, so it's easy to flush stuff down. If there's any like uh, swedge rims or anything like that inside where the tank and the head is put together, it seems. Make sure that you cut, cut that away so that the water or grease or whatever you got in there can run out. Um, anyway, we're going to let this thing come back up to temp and simmer for a while and then we're going to do her again. Alright guys, so we got past the stage of like rinsing this down and I did that about three times and let it heat up each time. Now we're running pretty hot. We're a little over 300, about 325 or so. I'm going to go ahead and open up this door. And what I do at this point is I use a can of Pam cooking spray. And I just get in there and just spray it every surface with this stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to let that kind of bake in at this point, kind of like seasoning an iron skillet. Um, give me just one second, I'll do that. We're going to spray the door and everything. Inside the door, we're going to get our cooking racks. We're putting a good heavy coating on. This is what's going to keep our cooker from rusting. Now some other kinds of oil that you can use are uh, like just good old fashioned vegetable oil. Um, really any kind of cooking oil, honestly. And uh, you can put it on a, on a towel and wipe it in there. Or you can use a, uh, you can use a bug sprayer. You know, like just a standard garden sprayer. Or like a, uh, like a, little spritzing bottle and uh, you can use about any kind of oil you want and just basically wipe that down and uh, just get every surface oiled up now we're gonna let this thing heat and just cook for a while then we're ready to cook something I usually try to cook something fatty something like uh, a chub of sausage a slab of bacon something like that just to get some airborne grease going um, stuff like that so uh, anyway I hope you found this video helpful uh, it's a very simple video. Uh, let me know in the comments or anything like that if you've got questions about what we're doing here. Uh, maybe I skipped a step you want me to cover better. Let me know in the comments. Give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, until next time, keep your smoke thin and blue, and we'll see you on the next video.